Hello 4W, um, we've come to the end of the academic year and it feels really strange to be filming this and not seeing you in person but we thought that as we couldn't have one last get together it'd be nice to do something special for you so I've got a short film of our highlights of the year which hopefully will make you smile and remind you of the really good times we had together. So if this wonderful technology works, I will bring up the slides. If there's one thing I've learned during lockdown, it's a lot more about technology. Okay. Right. The amazing 4W. These pictures, I don't know if you remember, were taken on our Moving On Up morning, so right at the end of year three, so a year ago. Um, you've got your name labels on because I was pretty useless at remembering names. Um, just have a look at yourselves. Have a look at how your hairs will have grown. You will have grown in size. I've seen Daisy and Owen in school, and Daisy definitely shot up, and so was Owen, and I bet all of you have grown a lot. Um, I'm sure your hair's grown a lot as well. And I wonder how many teeth have fallen out. And here's the other half. So our first event, we had our class assembly on National Poetry Day on the theme of lies. I wonder if you can remember learning those lines. Liar by Rachel Rooney. I told a whopper, a fib, a lie. Slipped out of my mouth. It was slimy, sly. Save me, it hissed. A secret must hide. So I opened my bag and it slithered inside. It fed in the dark, grew fat on my shame. As I carried it with me, it whispered my name. My friend, it kept saying, there's no need to frown. But that load of my shoulder was dragging me down. It wouldn't stay still and it started to smell. I stumbled and tripped on my words. I fell. In horror, I watched as my lie tumbled out. Down by my feet, it lay wriggling about. A crowd gathered round. They let out a cry. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. I admit it, I quietly replied. And the lie took its last gasp, shriveled and died. And this was year after you'd won the fruit basket. I love the banana smiles at the front. We had brass lessons in the autumn term. Um, I remember sitting there through those first few lessons, trying to mark your times tables while you were all blowing raspberries. Uh, the noise was quite impressive. And down here, I like the bottom slide, where we had our three soloists, Dylan, Lily Rose, and Struan, who, who did some fantastic improvisation. We had quite a few goes at meditation and Tai Chi. It was quite a chilled out year at times where we thought about mindfulness and we learned how to do chair yoga and meditation. And this was your having a go at some Tai Chi. Science, we had some good fun in science. This was back in the autumn term where we made the digestive system um, I particularly like the photo of Daisy there as she was squishing the contents from the stomach into the, the intestine. And there's Dylan pushing it out through the intestines. I think James's face at the top, that mixture of disgust and he's not quite sure what about what's about to happen. That makes me find it's all quite funny. And some more science where we were play acting, pretending how to be molecules and moving around the classroom, showing how the molecules would move around. We had our earthquake and volcanoes workshop where you were flying around the world visiting different volcanoes. And then we had the fun of making volcanoes. Now, I, for weeks before we were making volcanoes, was collecting bottles and boxes and newspaper 
in my in one of my rooms in my house and uh, it was just full of bottles it was for the whole year group and I had I don't know how many bottles and boxes sitting waiting ready to make volcanoes and we particularly enjoyed the point where we took them outside and exploded them and ours were much better than, the, than the Mr Brains because we shook ours up and they shot out And then we had Roman Day and it was pretty cold from what I remember. It was February and we were all in, all the girls and, and the boys actually were in quite flimsy outfits and we were all outside freezing, but you didn't seem to mind too much. Uh, we had a look at Roman artifacts and you learned how the different formations for soldiers. And DT, we did like a bit of DT, making our lanterns. I think that's probably the highlight of my year and is a memory that I will uh, remember forever was the point where Lily Rose and Francis said, Mrs. Wolf, we can smell burning. And I looked and there was smoke coming out of the top of both Francis and Lily Rose's lantern. And uh, we realised that we had the wrong battery packs in them and we had to take all the battery packs out and replace them. Um, and I do remember James going around saying how the classroom had nearly burnt down. Well, not quite burnt down, but there was a bit, little bit of smoke. And World Book Day with Immy's amazing bird outfit and our fantastic foxes and the shark head. Can't forget the shark head. And then really, the last slide, just thinking about lockdown, I hope that you've had the chance, as well as all of that wonderful home learning, I hope you've had the chance to learn some new skills. I've learned an awful lot about technology. I've learned how to film myself on Loom and how to film myself on Google Meets and how to have different meetings on so many different types of platforms. Um, but when I haven't been in school and I haven't been preparing lessons or ringing you, I found a bit more time to do some Lego Technic with Louie and we managed to finish off our Lego Technic crane and we made a Porsche and I've been doing a little bit of embroidery, which is, you can see down at the bottom, um, it's a, a rainbow because the rainbow symbolises hope and it's a tree and as you can see from the embroidery at the top, I've managed to do a reasonable amount of the tree and I've done the red and the orange band of the rainbow, but I've still got quite a long way to go, so I'm hoping to finish that off in the summer. And my last slide. I hope you all have a lovely summer. I hope you manage to have a break, and I can't wait to see you all in September when you'll be in year five. Um, and I've just got B and Lily there giving you B saying how much she liked hearing all the funny stories about 4W. If you can hear a funny noise in the background, it's because Bee's actually sitting next to me and she's snoring at the moment. And then Lily's saying, all this home learning has tired me out. Have a lovely summer and I can't wait to see you all in September. So now I've got to work out the technology and get it back to the right screen. There we go.